Hello and welcome. My name is Niall and I'm here to talk to you about Northumbria University Library. The library isn't just a place with books, although we do have lots of books. It's here to provide you with a safe space to study, help with your studies, for example finding books and other resources, academic writing and referencing, and yes, books. Lots of books and other resources such as journal articles to help you with your work. In this session we'll look at all of these areas. The books and other resources in the library are chosen in collaboration with tutors to ensure all the resources are relevant to your work. For students who do most of their work off campus, University Library Online is a great place to start. There is a huge range of ebooks, journal articles and other online resources available. In fact, whenever we buy a new physical book, we try to buy the ebook version as well. To access these, the best place to start is Library Search, which you can find at University Library Online. To access University Library Online, follow the link on your student portal. Alternatively, you can find it from Google or any search engine simply by searching for Northumbria University Library. then clicking on the links to take you through. Let's search for a book on critical thinking skills. Just type your search here, click search, and there you go. Lots of books, journal articles, and other resources, all fully accessible from the library. You can see there's an online version which you can click on and read the book online. There is a lot more to library search so please explore and if you need any help click on the help link here. Or get in touch with us via ask for help. If you want more subject specific online resources such as newspaper archives or maps then head to the subject resources list. And if you want to know anything else about the library, head to the information for menu. If there are any resources you need for your work, but you cannot find on library search, you have a few options. The first thing to try is to get in touch with the library via ask for help. We are always happy to help. We may not be able to organise access to everything, but there are lots of ways we can organise access to resources for free, or we may be able to suggest alternatives. Uh, additionally, as a Northumbria undergraduate student or learner, you have access to Newcastle University Libraries. If you are away for the holidays, but you need to read a book or do some work, you can access other university libraries around the country through the Sconal Access Scheme. The instructions are here, under Using Other Libraries. Another way to find resources relevant to your course is through the module reading lists. They are lists of resources created by your module tutor, and they should be linked from your module Blackboard site. Alternatively, you can access them through University Library Online. If you are a distance learner, a work-based learner, part-time learner, or student who is on a placement for more than six weeks, then you are eligible for our worldwide book postal service for books and journal articles. Books can be bought back in person or posted to the library using recorded delivery. You'll have to meet the cost of the return postage. Please see University Library Online for details of this service and again ask for help can answer any questions. If you do come onto campus in Newcastle you have several options City Campus Library off the main City Campus Quad, the Law Practice Library on Floor 1 of Business and Law Building at City Campus East, Digital Commons in Northumberland Building on City Campus 
and Coach Lane Library, just a few miles east of the city centre. The City Campus Library and Digital Commons are open 24-7 during term time. Any Northumbria students and learners can visit any of our library locations. Just bear in mind that libraries tend to contain the books that support the courses taught on the relevant campus. For example, many of the books on health and life sciences are at Coach Lane Campus Library. To enter any of the library locations, the first thing that you need is your smart card to swipe your way through the library gates. By the lift, there is a board which shows what facilities and learning and research spaces are available on each floor. The library spaces have been designed with students and learners in mind after listening to feedback, so whatever your learning style, there's a learning and research space available. For example, there are quiet and silent learning and research spaces, as well as collaborative and informal learning spaces. And there are also bookable study rooms. These are your spaces, so please treat them and the other students and learners using them with respect. The library is a shared space for everyone. If there's something you'd like to see changed, please do let us know via Your Library, Your Say. The lifts and stairs shown here can take you to the books and learning and research spaces. Just to mention, if the fire alarm goes off, please evacuate the building, leave your belongings and leave, the nearest, leave by the nearest fire exit. Use the stairs, not the lift, to evacuate the building. If you want to take books home, then there are machines you can use to borrow and return books, all for free. Why not go and explore the library after this session, or the next time you're on campus? If you find accessing the library a challenge, please do get in touch with the library via Ask for Help to see what we can do to help. If you have a disability, you might also be eligible for a range of support, including borrowing books for longer, home delivery of books via the Book Postal Service, having someone borrowing books on your behalf, a personal orientation tour of the library, one-to-one -one learning skills sessions, or alternative formats of resources. You can access this support through the Student Accessibility Team, who are there to help disabled students and learners with all aspects of teaching, learning and assessment. Get in touch with them through Ask for Help. If you have any general questions about the library and you can't find the answer on University Library Online, then please contact Ask for Help via your student portal 24-7 during term time. Or come to the desk just outside City Campus Library entrance gates in Student Central and at Coach Lane and Law Practice Library. Ask for help, provide support and advice on using the library, as well as aspects of university life, including accommodation, finance, welfare and course information. Basically, any questions, ask Ask for help. For the latest updates on opening hours, new resources, learning skill sessions and more, you can follow us on social media. And you can also keep an eye on our blog, Library News, for library updates. Additionally, there are notice boards and digital screens and signs around the library. Finally, a word on how the library can help with your learning skills, such as academic writing, referencing and finding information. There are taught sessions both online and in person, and there are regular drop-ins for skills support, Monday to Thursday, both remotely and on campus, and there's no need to make an appointment for those. There's also Skills Plus, which is our online set of learning skills guides, taking you through the essentials you need to start studying and completing assessments. You can find out more about the help available from the big blue Develop Your Learning Skills banner. And what to do next? Well, why not take a photo of this checklist and use it to guide your next steps? Why not visit University Library Online, book a learning skills session, or follow us on social media to keep up to date with what the library has to offer? If you can, head on to campus, pop into the library for a visit and borrow a book or take a shelfie. You could also book a library tour. Thank you for listening.